Shalom, shalom. Actually, Shabbat shalom. Uh, January 6, 2023. This is the first uh, Babylon review video of the Babylon year. Okay, you know our new year <clears throat> is in the springtime. But I digress from that. Um, no papa in the house of representatives. Or mother in the House of Representatives, okay? Uh, and so-called Father Benef Benedict is at the throne room of the Most High. Hmm. <clears throat> I told you, if you've been watching my videos last year, I told you that once Pope Benedict is removed, now we have Pope Francis and we walk waiting on the false messiah. There are some reports coming out of Israel that they are ready to bring forth their uh, false messiah. Um, uh, I can't confirm or deny. I just see some reports coming out um, and some videos of some uh, guy who's been doing miracles. Um, I I'm still on the fence. On what this guy is doing. But we know that he's not the Messiah. If you don't know that he's not the, Mes the Messiah. Here's the number one sign that you could tell. That this or any individual that comes up. Is not the Messiah. The Messiah will come from Basra. He will crack the sky. And he will put his feet on the Mount of Olives. You will know that the Messiah has returned. When you see the Mount of Olives. Split in half, one to the east, one to the west. That's when you'll know for sure that his majesty has returned. When the Mount of Olives have split in half. That is when the great earthquake will happen. That great earthquake uh, will be um, a worldwide event. Okay, It will shake up a lot of places. A lot of islands will be wiped out. Um, so for those people who are on islands that you shouldn't be on, <laughs> uh, it may be time to relocate if it's all possible, but you know, you have to ask the most high for wisdom and guidance on that. Um, but that, that's for later on, uh, coming. Pope Benedict is out. One of the heads of the eagle is down. Still got Pope Francis and we still got. Um, Bishop Bartholomew of the Orthodox Russian Church of the Byzantine Church. Now, we don't count him on the head of the eagle because this has been split. Okay, The Byzantine Church is pretty much separate from the eagle all the way, even though they have their feathers inside the church of uh, Byzantium or Byzantine um, Church. Um, or, or which which they call East Orthodox Church here here in the United States, or here around the world. BB <laughs> Netanyahu is back in office. Okay, he's the one. He's going to be the one that's going to usher in the Third Temple. Don't forget about the climate accords that they had with um. Pope Francis on the New Ten Commandments plus one. Don't forget about what happened in 2020 and 2021, the deception and the lies. You got to, you have to become aware of uh, both sides, but always looking for the truth, okay? Um, to make sure that you are following facts and not opinions and not, uh, uh, thoughts of coercion, <clears throat> fraud, abuse, um, anything that will uh, uh, push you to do something that will go against your own mental thought and capacity. You have to be mindful of that. Um, it, it's, I, there's no way for me to say this um, besides what the Messiah says. Be not deceived. Okay, Be mindful not to be deceived by men. All women, okay, all entities, organizations that's run by men and women, okay. 
Uh, let no man deceive you. That's the worst that is Messiah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let no man deceive you. Okay, that is the first thing you need to be watching out is for deception. Okay, lies of omission, lies of commission, lies of uh, um, um, lies of ambiguity. Okay, telling you part and parcel of the truth. Okay, mixing the truth with the lie. You had that. That's going off way all the way until the Messiah come. That is the spirit that is here. We have a lot of entities that are out here, a lot of deceptive entities that are being manifested and brought forth, okay? In the people, in the culture, in the language, um, in the attitudes of the people, okay? Your neighbors becoming snitches, uh, telling on you. Um, so you got to be mindful not to be around people who don't hold your uh, values, who don't hold your... Uh, your integrity and your honesty, okay? And we must be tactful, okay? We're gonna get back to 20 and 23. Must be tact uh must be um tactful of the words that we speak and the things that we tell people, okay? Especially in our places that we are in. Of course, it's and not everywhere is all uh in troubled times, but it's in diverse places. You never know when your trouble is coming your way, okay. You never know when no, your trouble is coming your way. So the only thing we can do is be prepared. Know that we're in 2023. We're going into 2023 season. It's a beautiful time. Um, uh, both uh, wisdom and understanding in this time. And you must increase your talents and uh, uh, your faith uh, by working your talents and not being stagnant. Don't think because <clears throat> 5.2 billion people is going to perish off this earth. That uh, somehow, um, somehow life has ended. Okay, no, it's still life is gonna go on even after World War Three. Okay, speaking of World War Three, um, <laughs> Russia is already setting the mindset of their people to 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 go all out. Okay, to go all out. I told y'all last year, I think it was around September, that Russia is putting the hypersonic missiles on their ships. It's been completed. Well, it's supposed to be completed on January 20th, but they already started deploying frigates. Um, they already deployed that sub. That sub that's been out there that they lost track of a while back, they probably found it again, but um, that, that sub is already out there. The next thing we want to look for, we already know Iran is in the war. We just, if you haven't heard, the United States um, is planning to drag this war out for two years. Poland is in the crosshairs. Why? Because Pope, Fran uh, Pope Benedict is no longer in the way. Now the Jesuits can come into Poland, Warsaw, areas the Baltics, down in South America, and begin to hound the, those people to get on their agenda. Uh, Pope Fran uh, Pope Benedict is no longer there to be the vanguard of uh, that saw that side of the Cardinal um, the Cardinal College. Okay, two years they want to drag this war out. I don't think Russia is going to let that happen because once uh, maybe the sometime in September of this year, 23, that uh, Ukraine will have enough weapons to be able to really hit inside of Russia, and they're looking to hit Moscow, and that is a red line for Russia, okay? They have the offensive, getting ready for the offensive um, sometime in the January. They probably have a pause break in February, and then after that, it's all out, okay? It's all, it's, it's everywhere, you're going to find uh, <clears throat> everywhere you're going to find some type of war happening. Thank you for your 10 minutes of your time. I hope to see you throughout this year. I hope that you're in good spirits. I'm praying for you. The Most High is on your side. Don't be discouraged, but always know that wisdom is the principal thing, and you must utilize your wisdom and your understanding through these times and not be deceived, okay? That's my 10 minutes. I hope you like, make your comments, but all all, 
Trust in the Most High. Hold on to his growth. Shalom.